Isaac Henry. I'm a transportation planner with Roanoke County and I'm the project manager for the West Roanoke River Greenway Feasibility Study, the purpose of which is to identify multiple realistic alignments for the Roanoke River Greenway between Green Hill Park and Montgomery County. Most gaps in the Roanoke River Greenway are funded at this point, so it is time to begin planning for the segment between Green Hill Park and Montgomery County, which will likely be the last segment to be constructed. The West Roanoke River Greenway Feasibility Study is the first step in planning for the section between Green Hill Park and Montgomery County. The feasibility study is the first step in a long process. Let's talk about what you should expect. The feasibility study will identify conceptual routes for the Roanoke River Greenway between Green Hill Park and Montgomery County. And when the study is complete, the project will be broken into smaller phases and funding will be sought to design and construct the project based upon where right-of-way is available. At this point in time, there is no funding for any design or construction of any segments of the Roanoke River Greenway between Green Hill Park and Montgomery County. And this study will set a foundation for future planning stages and requests for funding that could lead to future design and construction projects. All future planning and design stages will include opportunities for public engagement. The West Roanoke River Greenway Feasibility Study began in June of 2022. The first round of public outreach, including two community meetings and a survey, was held in October of 2022. A community meeting was held on October 19, 2022 at Fort Lewis Baptist Church, and another one was held on October 20, 2022 at Spring Hollow Water Treatment Plant. 100 people attended these meetings in total. A survey was opened between October 3rd and November 4th, 2022, and we received 198 responses in total. Some of the feedback we received from the survey was that most respondents use existing greenways to walk and or bike. Respondents felt that parks, playgrounds, and recreational facilities are the most important destinations for their West Roanoke River Greenway to connect to. And respondents prefer greenways on flat ground adjacent to rivers, on hillsides, and through the woods to greenways that are adjacent to roads. And finally, most respondents want the Greenway within walking distance, but few are interested in having it on their property. Since the first round of public outreach last fall, Roanoke County staff have evaluated feedback from the community meetings and the survey to develop potential route recommendations. In addition to evaluating feedback from the community meetings and survey, staff met with representatives from the Western Virginia Regional Jail, Western Virginia Water Authority, American Electric Power, Montgomery County Planning, and the Virginia Passenger Rail Authority to help guide potential route recommendations. In our meeting with staff from the Virginia Passenger Rail Authority, we learned that recreational uses are permitted in their right-of-way in Western Roanoke County. When designed properly, rails with trails are safe. This is an alternative worth investigating. We tried to develop route alternatives that would realize the vision statements for the Greenway while honoring public feedback. Routes were considered that would be located adjacent to the river, adjacent to roads, in Virginia Passenger Rail Authority right-of-way, and through wooded areas. Now we are in our second round of public outreach, and this is how you can help. In the second round of community meetings and second survey, Roanoke County is seeking feedback on potential route recommendations. Potential route recommendations have been split into three areas to make them easily digestible. We are seeking feedback on individual segments. A survey is currently available and will be open through July 31st, 2023. Respondents can give as much or as little feedback as they want. Paper surveys have been mailed to residents and property owners in the study area. Paper surveys will also be available at the Glenver Library through July 31st, and a drop box will be available at the library to return surveys. An identical survey is available online. In the survey, respondents are asked to select their top routes in each area, and we'll be able to provide open-ended feedback on the potential route recommendations. Here are the upcoming community meetings where you can be involved in the project and provide feedback. The first community meeting will be held on July 10th, 2023 at Spring Hollow Water Treatment Plant, and the second will be held on July 13th at Fort Lewis Elementary School. And attendees can view large posters of potential route recommendations and interact with staff members to help inform their responses. After this current round of public feedback, we will review and analyze survey results and meet with stakeholders one last time to help develop the final route recommendations. Once we finalize the route recommendations, we will draft the study document and public hearings will be held before the Planning Commission and Board of Supervisors. Every future stage of the project will have opportunities for public input. Throughout this entire process, Roanoke County has been advised by a steering committee consisting of staff members of the National Park Service, Roanoke Valley Greenway Commission, Roanoke Valley Allegheny Regional Commission, and the Virginia Department of Transportation. Thank you to everyone that has participated in this study so far and to those who continue to participate. 
Greenways are a benefit to our community, environment, economy, and overall health. On behalf of the Roanoke County Board of Supervisors, Planning Commission, and all of us here in the Planning Department, we thank you for your participation.